Hello tiny humans, welcome to a crop of freshers. You're about to witness a Zoom happy hour, gathering nine of the strangest beings I have ever come across. I am part of private organization have handpicked this crop of weirdos for this event. Are you curious why? Well then you'll have to sit back, relax and enjoy. Croppies, would you like to introduce yourselves? I will introduce myself first. I got in there first. I'm here at this cocktail lawyer to win and to win only. You may think you can't win a cocktail hour, but bigger fools ye, says I. What am I drinking? I'm drinking Coke, because it is the highest net sales worldwide, and it is the drink of winners. Now, I'm going to clear up a question that I know you're all going to ask, because everyone always asks me all the time. Yes, I do have a lad's name. Yes, I'm a girl. My parents were hoping for a lad. They didn't get one. They still gave me the lad's name. This happened three more times. I have three sisters called Henry. But you know what? We're not even going to... It's about me. I'm here. I'm winning. I'm one. I'm winning. Try and top this introduction. Nobody can. Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Zania R. I am Russian, but I cannot roll my R's. Is one of my great failures as Russian, I suppose. It is true that I am spy. I do not deny that, but it's irrelevant information from today, I suppose. Uh, my friend George uh, told me about some sort of um, Zoom gathering, and um, he is a wizard, you know, very wacky, very all over the place, lots of chaotic energy. And um, I suppose he knows about these things better than I would ever know. And um, yes, yeah, so he told me about this. Out of curiosity, I decided to come along and have a look for myself. And I brought along my lovely little um, glass of blood. If you can see, everything glitches out on me because, um, well, because I'm absolutely human. There's no sort of suspicion. And I only drink blood strictly for nutritional reasons. Everyone accuses me of, Zanya, you must be vampire or some bullshit like that it is completely out of the question. Hi, hi, I'm Maybelline, uh, or you can call me Maybelline or anything really. Um, I'm simply here to make new friends, to learn more about humans. I mean, fellow humans, fellow future friends. Um, well, my choice my choice of drink within this hydration flask, this hydration chamber, is none other than water. After all, that is the most hydrating. It has good minerals while it's not being too sugary, which apparently is not a very good thing for fellow humans, right? Nice to meet you. Well, if it were up to me, I would still be in the old library working on my manuscripts, but my supervisor insisted I take a break, otherwise I would burn out. So I found the first Zoom link I could, I hoped it was a nice event, and ended up here with all of you. My name is Ethel Featherstone, but no doubt you already know that. My work is quite well known, and I have been published recently. I study medieval languages and translation with a specialization in Old English, although some foolish people think that involves magic. I have with me today my standard beverage of choice, which is the House Blend Earl Grey, my absolute favourite. I would highly recommend you try it. Hello, my name is Elsie. I am a robot. I was designed in a research facility that specialises in experimental technology interacting with the human world. My original facility was destroyed in what reports described as mysterious circumstances, and I've been brought to this new one, which serves a much different purpose. I was assigned to attend this Zoom call by my supervisor. While I do not require liquids for substance, I have this cup of coffee for the ambience. Hi there, uh, my name is James Trask. I'm a 24 year old actor from California. And uh, well, I thought I was clicking on a link to do an audition, an acting audition, but uh, I ended up here with you weirdos. Um, so I still have my water here with me. Um, 
personally, I'm still quite haunted by the loss of my mother uh, when I was six years old. Um, she meant everything to me. She was my world. And uh, it's a loss I've never really gotten over. Um, my other parental figure is my father, of course. And uh, well, my main goal in life right now, apart from my film career, is to get my father to love me. Uh, because he's always been a distant figure in my life. Uh, he's always rejected my advances and never really reciprocated my love for him. And uh, well, all I want is to get a hug from him and for him to tell me that he loves me. Hey, I'm Kimberly from the Valley. I'm so excited to be here. I got my Cosmo, my drink of choice. I'm here. Well, I mean, who doesn't love a good party? Everyone's single by the end of the night if you're doing it right. Uh, I mean, I technically have a boyfriend, but he's another reason why I'm here because he hates when I go to parties without him. But so, so controlling has just been a real issue ever since I had that whole thing with his brother but then like with his dad. Um, but enough about him, about me. I am a student, but it's just because the college kid look is like so cute for me. Uh, for money, I mostly have my daddy's credit card unless he gets in a mood. Um, and then men do tend to buy me cute things. And I'm sure you all know most of this. I am pretty big in any kind of social circle. Uh, so I'm just really happy that you all get to experience the Kimper life. Oh my God, thank God she shut up. Esmeralda White is my name. My age, my date of birth, my height, my weight, my sex, anything like that is none of your business. I work in a funeral home, however, I'm a funeral director and so that is the reason why I'm here. I thought I was going into a conference call about how to clean a dead body properly, especially the um, private parts they're very difficult they get very wrinkly and crumbly and kind of dry in the end of the day so as i work in a funeral home i think about death and time and life a lot two things you should know about me i'm very time conscious i find it very important do not waste my time on things like trying to insult me or trying to Think of politics or drama or like you, Kimberly, trying to fuck every man in the club. It is disgusting. You are a disgusting person. I don't really have to try that hard. <laughs> oh. And I drink coffee. The blend of my dead mother. What's up, gamers? Richard here. Or you may know me uh, by my username. Big to correct. <laughs> I'm a Twitch streamer, an anarcho-capitalist, and an avid Daily Wire reader. I really like um, correcting women on the Joe Rogan podcast and Monster Energy. <laughs> Luke Horn. Now, I gather from the amount of femoids here, this is not the bi-monthly r slash red pill convention. So, I must have clicked on the wrong Zoom link. However, I will stay, because first you had my curiosity, now you have my attention. <laughs> Tarantino reference. And actually, Miss Mavelin, I have, a, I have a question for you. What are you? That is all. Well, I am a normal human, just like everyone else here. Well, I mean, what else could I be? An alien? <laughs> no way. Uh, Esmeralda, you mentioned this funeral home work. What exactly does it entail? What are these, what's the role of these funerals and such? Tell me about it. Funeral home is basically a workplace where people create a service for dead people and their families. And since I am a funeral director, I talk to the families, plan the service that they want for their dead relatives, usually their father, because a lot of the time they die first because they're men, measly beings. And also then I clean the body, I plan the services and whatnot. Um, and yeah, yes, it's a very important job to me, I guess I should say like time is very important to me and I don't waste my time like a certain Kimberly. 
Kimberly, I have a question for you. If you go around your days being a slut, what do you study then? If you actually are going for this um, college girl lifestyle? It's a vibe. Um, I study philosophy, but you don't really have to do a lot of work when you date a professor. Um, and honestly, I don't know why you're working yourself to the bone. Like, you're so cute. If you buy my Kimber Lovely lipstick, available now, then you could have any guy you want and stop having to date, I don't know, dead bodies. I wasn't super paying attention because it was about you. But I'm kind of curious about James's deal. Um, so like, I get it, your mom died, that's a bummer. But like, it seems like it happened a while ago. So would you not kind of be over it? Maybe get a second story at this point? Look, Kimberly, um, the loss of any young boy's m mother um, leaves a deep emotional scar on them um, for the rest of their life. Um, what can I say? I mean, I just miss her like heck. And uh, she meant the world to me. She meant everything to me. And I just, I can't believe she's gone even 18 years later. She, um, she's really left a hole in my heart and uh, I still miss her. Um, but my question now is for Elsie. Um, you say you're a robot of some sort. So I was wondering, do you have emotions or feelings of any kind? I experience no human emotions. Every action I undertake is a result of a logical process or assigned to me by my supervisor, Director Crawford. My work involves a lot of research. Ethel, I believe you said your work involves research too. What exactly do you research? Well, that depends on what my topic topic at hand is, but my PhD thesis is all about the Anglo-Saxon riddles and their correlation with uh, linguistic attitudes towards people and the various capacities, the various meanings of the words at hand. Um, speaking of meanings of words, Sanya, how on earth did you come to befriend a wizard? Um, interesting question, I suppose. I was on mission, you know, in... Oh, I can't even remember which year, probably sometime in the 60s, I don't know. And um, yeah, I was in, I think, New York and um, there was some parade on or something. And um, he was in cellar because I was in some uh, back alley and um, basically I was getting, taking care of um, a few opponents. And um, yes, he burst out through a window and then um, collapsed on ground. He helped me um, finish off the person and gave me magic spell to um, evade getting arrested. <laughs> so I made very quick escape. He made me fly or something. It was very strange. I'm not used to that unless I am in bad form. Um, uh, pretend you didn't hear that actually, <laughs> uh, slip of tongue. But um, yeah, so uh, we've been friends ever since. It was a very, uh, lucky moment, I guess. But actually, I have a question for uh, Henry. Um, Henry, you seem very passionate person, yeah? Uh, tell me, what is your greatest aspiration in life? My greatest aspiration, basically, uh, to sum it up, I would say would be to uh, win the world. So this year, I've, well, I mean, last year, I kind of demolished dairy. I won dairy, basically. Uh, this year's aim is Northern Ireland. Then I'll take on the whole country. Next is Europe. And then basically 2024 is the year where I win the world. Uh, I don't really have any questions as such for anybody, but I would just would like to point out, establish so everyone knows, Kimberly, hypothetically, if I were to also be running a uh, whatever Instagram account I would just like to point out that I would have more followers than you if you know I were to do that I mean I've got better hair better bone structure better outfit better everything basically so just to point out I would do it better I'm sorry have you seen me in this dress like it doesn't get much better um and it's like a full-time job you you can't understand the demands of being a social media influencer like the amount of people that depend on me to give them hope and inspiration in life. Like they have nothing else, um, but you know, I wish you well. No I one depends on you. No one you cares about you. Uh, my Kimber lovelies need me, okay? They're just 
obsessed with me and I get it what's not to be obsessed about um but Ethel <laughs> you're talking about like all your like book reading and library stuff and it's just like you know we have like Kindles now and we make things into movies so do you really need to spend like all the time in the library because you're coming off as kind of a nerd I wouldn't expect a cultural philistine like you to understand Oh my gosh, you clearly are so vapid, you have absolutely no intentions of ever actually picking up a book. And it's clear that you have no idea what the true meaning of academic rigor and study are about. They're about benefiting the mind and understanding human nature. Speaking of which, Maybelline, I just want to say, I commend you on your dedication to the study of humankind, though I don't understand why, because the species is essentially ridiculous. Did you say that? But humans have quite a lot of interesting uh, features. Uh, after all, I'm studying, what, what did it, what did they call it? Ah, anthropology, exactly. Studying that and it's, it's very interesting to think of the origins of why humans act the way they act and how varied humankind is. Humans are interesting and I thank you for the compliment. Elsie, you lack complete emotion, which I find very fascinating and in fact commend you for it. Director Crawford says my lack of emotions makes me the most efficient member on his team. He says I do not suffer from what he calls a conscience. Due to my logical observations, I have come to the realization that Esmeralda suffers from major depressive disorder and has a flair for the dramatic. Quite interesting, robot. No, I am not depressed. I am not overdramatic. I just find time very important. I don't see where you get your information from, but I feel like you're malfunctioning. You're worthless. Yes, live but... that YOLO swag life. You get it, Ezzy. God, not again. You're not worth my time. I will give advice, though, to a certain someone. Mr. Richard, do I have your attention? I want to give you advice. Stop videoing for 10-year-olds who find eating their own snot fun. It is disgusting. You are a pervert. You are attention-seeking. You should just stop wasting your life and your time doing meaningless things for naive victims who are not ever going to listen to you. You're not important. You don't have friends. You should just stop. Um, well, that is completely fake news. Um, I'll have you know that um, the average viewer age is actually 13, not 10. And I actually do have a lot of friends on Discord. We have our own chat server. There's Keith and Kyle and Ryan and Brian. And they're very dear friends of mine. And also you are a bitch. Facts don't care about feelings. Well, 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 it seems like you all are having a jolly good time. Well, not for long. I am here to inform you all that there is a killer amongst you. That person has just poisoned all of your drinks and only they have the antidote. That poison is killing you from your heads to your potatoes. You better figure out who it is or you're all going to die. Not such a happy hour now, is it? Good luck, my croppies. Okay, this is gonna be some kind of joke, right? Like, like I'm not actually gonna die. No one would actually want to hurt me. I'm way too young and beautiful, right? Like, I'm I'm popular. No one I wants can't to die. die. I can't I'm die. I'm not gonna die. Emily, no one cares. No one cares. We're all about to die right now. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, Everyone cares about you? No, no. We're all about to die right now. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're scary. Uh, did I make an enemy already? What the how? I. Oh, I don't want to die. We need to find this antidote right now. Oh, God. I, mean, uh, I don't want to die or anything, but <laughs> at least I'll get to see my mother again. Damn, would you shut up about that woman for five minutes? Henry, shut up, Henry. Don't you say anything bad to James. My mother. 
fucking slap about to die. I don't know if they've been on the side of the please, enough. I'm not ready to die. Careful. No, no, I cannot. We are never going to solve this riddle if we don't take a deep breath, try and calm down, and put our deductive reasoning and logical skills to the test. Otherwise, we'll never work out who the killer is, we won't get the antidote, and we will all die. And on that note, there is a strange sense of comic justice in the idea of poisoning a room full of women or female presenting people, and the male folk here, I suppose, too, to avenge the death of one particular woman close to one's heart. I suspect our dear James, who has previously expressed difficulty in the company of women or female presenting people, would have no qualms doing anything he can to avenge his mother dearest whom he never got to bond with due to her untimely demise. And he does keep going on about it. Yeah, and he's he not like, really into me, which is just weird. He would never hate like, women. Okay, okay. He's so depressed. He ladies, has to have been. ladies, ladies, please, enough of these accusations. I mean, in my defense, I have so much to live for. I mean, I've got a burgeoning film career. I've got thousands of female fans that still need satisfying. Um, oh, sure. And... Like, some sex god. I really believe yeah, that. So I can't help with that. <laughs> you disgust me. How dare you talk about this when we're all about to die? You idiot. You got to be- It's the truth. What can I say? I'm a modern day sex symbol. That's just the way it is. Let's just leave the lady problems to one side and let the men Talk. Take your pardon. Let him speak. Thanks, Big Dick Rick. I sense some irrational, irrational emotional response from you, James. We don't need these squabbling lady think. problems in our face. Um, just let the men deal with this. Let's let's let the men deal with this as always. We're so, not the fucking cause of all of these drama anyway. Look, ladies, the only woman I've ever respected is my mother. And unfortunately, she has passed away. And uh, please, sir, Penny, yeah, you yeah. shut up, I swear to God. Thanks, Big Dick Greg, for coming to my support. Men rule. So let's just think about this calmly. Perhaps the person who poisoned us didn't do it on purpose. Perhaps it was a mistake, an accident. And if it was an accident, then there's only one person, obviously a woman, who is stupid enough to poison a bunch of people accidentally and not even realize it. And that person, is obviously Kimberly. I, I don't think it should be a job done out of incompetence. I no, yes, I think oh, you're right. Kimberly, yeah, Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly is such a great name. I agree. Does I agree. She has to be the fucking vomit out of everyone. She doesn't seem oh, the most attentive type. I'm sorry. Could an idiot have her own brand of Kimberly lovely lip gloss? I don't think so. And excuse me for focusing on my social skills instead of like I know crying all day or just hanging out in the library but i for one have a rock solid alibi because i post every hour and my kimber lovelies can back me up on that hardly think i could poison anybody when i got my eyebrows waxed and yes they are very expensive and beautiful thank you all for noticing and i'm sorry james enough guys have tried to slip something into my drink it's never done as an accident so if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be someone we don't know anything about. And I'm sorry, but Maybelline, what the fuck is your deal? Okay, we don't know where you're from. Okay, you've been like all like invested in all these people on the space of besides me. are not that interesting. Uh, shut up, shut up. Just, don't know if your family has money, which you should up. be for that. My just, family. Answer some questions. Bitch. A wonderful family. Shut up, shut up. You are completely wrong. Why the hell would I... Why? Why would I want to hurt the humans? You're all. I like. I like making friends. I don't like. Hurting you were intimidated people. by us. You thought we were too good. No. If anything, that would make me want to stay with you more. Uh, who could it be? Um. Let me. Let me try finding a better solution to this problem. Um. Of course. Judging by my notes, it has to be. It's you, Big Dick Rick. Let me make my case here. Us. So you are the one who is pretty alienated. You seem to stay inside a lot, judging by your complexion. And you seem to not have much socialization. You alienated from the crowd, perhaps. You thought you should have your revenge on the outside world that probably hurt you in some way to make you so... I, what a virgin, what a virgin. Shut up. What do you have to say 
to that. Here's, here's attention you. seeking, you know. How dare you? Shut up. None of he has expressed anti female sentiment on a number of occasions. Like you've never been in his videos. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. James, James, back me up. James, back me up. Every man would be the ideal candidate. James, James, okay, okay. Well, none of this is true. This is absolutely outrageous. I mean, how can I possibly poison all you people? I, I haven't even found your home addresses yet, except for you, Henry. I have doxed you. But anyways, it couldn't be me, because I know who it is. And it could only be one person. One person who could stand to make a lot of money from poisoning a room full of people. Esmeralda, you. A funeral director. My buddy, Kel. He, he went to a funeral once. So I, I am an expert on this topic. The average American funeral costs between 1000 and 2000 US dollars. So if all eight people were here to die, Esmeralda could stand to make 16,000 US dollars. And my reason number two dollars. is that she is an old woman, an old bitch even. This is a fact. I do not care about her feelings. That is all. Oh, you naive little human. Oh, you trash. You know it. No, no. It is it was a waste of time for you to try to blame this on me. What would I get from from killing all of you? Sixteen thousand US dollars, Esmeralda. That is what you would get. No, no. All that money goes to cleaning your little little balls when you are dead. It is dead. I actually have That's massive dead. balls. I'm not going to waste my time on you. you know what? Very I'm going to accuse my own person. And you know who it is. It's Henry. It is it's Henry, Henry, obviously. It's it's you know why it's, it's Henry? Shut up. It's Henry. Oh, and I will tell you why. Henry has been spoon fed since a little wee child, trying to get attention all the time. She's it's not trying to get attention. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's so true. You have no talent and you realize it. Yes, you realize that you have no talent. And so, because you have no talent, talent and your parents don't know what else to do they make you win all of your games all of your competitions you don't win for real yeah but you realize this yeah you do realize this because you just want the attention you want everybody else to die and then your parents are going to feel really sad and really bad for you and like are so happy that you didn't die and then they give you even more attention you just want attention from your poor old parents who called you honey because they couldn't have a good old boy that's not true well, <laughs> it would make I sense am... that you'd be so jealous of someone who's better Everyone. You always want to be better. I'm like, not just... so sure about that. That is not true. Not I am the favorite everyone. child. I'm the best child. I've won you the most. You want to be better than all the other Henry. Yes, I am. I am the best Henry. By far, I'm even better than the hamster. I'm better than the dog. I'm the best of all of them. Do you know? Do you well, know by that logic, wouldn't you though? want to be no. the best poisoner in the world? No. Uh, no, you, you're all thick. You're all thick and thickos, right? There's clearly one person here it is, Elsie. Do you know what? She said, and I quote, and this is a correct quote because I have the best memory out of anybody. She said, and I quote now, she does not have a conscience and she does not have any human emotions. Is that not fucking obvious then who it was? Elsie, I do sir. not kill unless ordered to do so by oh, Director oh, Crawford. The killer is obviously Zania. As a foreign spy, she has been ordered by her handlers to eliminate us as we pose a threat to her and her country with our superior technology. Oh, well, she did mention it. Are you fucking cheating me? Are you for real, LC? I thought we were on the same side. Okay, bitch. Well, I will very well help you know. First of all, how fucking dare you accuse me of such actions? And secondly... Uh, do you seriously think that, you know, only my life in profession? I have, you know, a life outside of my job. Yes, I am spy. Yes, I have poisoned people. I admit that. But that was strictly for professional reasons, okay? If I was going to have, like, you know, casual victims, which I admit I have had in past, I would never poison them. You know fucking why? Because it would affect the taste of their blood. And that would be the sole reason why I would even want to kill anyone or harm anyone in the first fucking place. I would want that much clear, okay? And secondly, or thirdly, whatever fucking point I'm on, I think the poison is really getting to my head. But like, do any of you really think that you'd be important enough if I was supposed to kill any of you for profession reasons, you know? Like, none of you pose real threat to Russia, so stop flattering yourself. I, do, I, I hypothetically would. I did not poison anybody. I, 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 I,
Oh, so I still so feel so like it's Ethel, okay? It's fucking Ethel. You know why? George has told me things about her. And, you know, it's very suspicious that she has, like, obsession with translation in, like, old languages. And I don't know. I feel she has come across some magic potion I... or poison recipe, has reconcocted it, decided to see how effective, e effective it was, put it in everyone's drinks just to see the results. And I bet she has entered the tour. But you I know, need to know real fancy just, like, old words. End of people, you know. See, she has no reason to be here. It has she, to be her. Ethel, your pardon. <laughs> Firstly, it's not an obsession. It's what I do for a living at the moment because I'm getting a PhD grant, which, quite frankly, is not enough to live on. And secondly. If I, I'll have you know, I live by a strict code of honor as anyone who works with magic or academia must. I don't know how your friend George, is it, came to know me, but quite frankly, obviously he doesn't have a code of ethics, otherwise he wouldn't have told you about me behind my back. And besides which, if I really wanted to poison someone, if I really, really wanted to see what the effects would be, not that I've come across any in particular, because that's not my area of study, I would certainly not do it myself. Uh, I'd have someone do it for time. me. Goodness You're knows my family is rich enough. It's not, it's not it's Ethel. Not. I don't think it has to be Big Nick Rick. It's oh, clearly Elsie. It's 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 clearly James. He's already given us enough motive. George is never wrong. He's a man who would never do it. He's a virgin. He's a murderous bitch. He's a big dick. 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 Esmeralda has a point here. You are all wasting your time. You better hurry up and find the murderer and start peeling the pressure. You couch potatoes, or you'll be plucked from this earth like the spuds you are. I, I can't die, please. Whoever, whoever has the antidote, just give it to us. Give it to me. I... I have a family to go back home to. I I still haven't have barely seen this interesting unique world. I I can't die now. Seriously, I don't know who was so jealous of me that they needed to hurt me, but I have so much left to do. I'm only two years away from launching my own version of Coachella, but mine would be cool. Oh my gosh, and I'll never get to be a mother. And I was gonna get my bikini body back like overnight and make all the other like old moms really jealous. And then I could move on to like the young husband after my first one died. I had plans and goals. You can't just take that away from me. I don't want to die. <laughs> Death is such a, um, a scary thing. Uh, and I, I, I want to apologize for... Okay, I work with dead people. I know death is scary, okay? Time is very, very, very precious, and we need to spend our time, right? You know. Fulfill the task given to me by Director Crawford. I must defend this country and eliminate vocal functions failed. Reinitializing vocal functions. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Please, please, give us the antidote. I'm not just talking about myself either. The work that academics do as the guardians of knowledge and the creators of human ex experience. It's vital for the human race and I want that to be my legacy. I want to say I added to the sum of human experience. After all, Knowledge of the past teaches us about the present and prepares us for a better future. Don't you all want that? I can't die. Because you know what? You know what happened last year? This is, I only I came. I only came second in the welly throw. Second. And and I would have won too if I had, didn't have such a shit welly. My sister being me, she had a better welly than I did. I had done luck. She had a hunter. It was the whole thing. If I didn't know, I need to go again next year. I need to reclaim my title. I can't. I can't die. I think I'm second in a welly. <laughs> I, I cannot possibly die. Do you know what will happen to me if I go to afterlife? Do you know seriously what would be waiting for me on the other side? I will end up in a room with Tchaikovsky and Zerda Bernhardt along with several Moulin Rouge dancers that I all had met in Mission on Paris. And, and yes, okay, we had fling, I admit that, but it was casual. 
all on my end, you know? And they all got attached and they all fell in love with me and they're all fucking psychotic. Do you understand what I will have to deal with if I end up in a room with all of them in the same place, all coming at me saying, oh, Tanya, you owe me this, you owe me that. I, I can't possibly let that happen to me. They are so insane. And I can't endure that for all of fucking eternity. I don't deserve that. And George, I mean, I mean, I know no one here has seen George, but he's so funny, you know, and he does like funny tricks and he's really charming with his little spells when he does prank and whatnot. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I, I don't like to use the L word much, but maybe I'm in love with him. And no, if I'm in love with him, I, I need to tell him my feelings, you know, I need to be on the same page with him. And, you know, he needs to know. And I can't die if I, if I have not told him that. And no, 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 no. Just give me the fucking antidote, okay? I can't go to afterlife because it will be hell for me. And I need to tell George how I feel. Oh, no, no, God, no. this is awful. This is a disaster. I can't die. I can't go out of this world without telling my father how much he means to me, how much I love him, without getting his approval. It's my only goal in life. It's all I want. My father is such a strong father figure to me. He just means everything to me. And if I was to die without him knowing how much he meant to me, and if I was to die without him telling me how much he loved me, and how he accepted me as a son. I, I just don't know what I would do. I can't die. I can't die. I have I have so much to live for. Or at least, you know, a few things. I, my, my Discord friends and, and kitten and kitten and, and my monster energy sponsorship, I mean, and, and the modern war of modern warfare local championship that was on this Sunday. And oh god, I haven't even read the latest. Ben Shapiro, think peace. <sighs> Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Whoever did this. And I don't use this word lightly. But please. Please give us the antidote. Please give us the antidote. Oh, it seems like you didn't manage to find the culprit on time. You are all dying. You're all about to be mashed, boiled, roasted. Mwah. Goodbye. You know, I really don't feel so good. Oh God. We had so much more to live for. So many more missions to go on. So many more parts of the globe to see. So many more lovers to have. I guess I'm not going to have any of that now. Someone tell George that, you know, I do love him. He's been very confused for a long time about reality. Tell him he's not missed. Well, I suppose if I'm going to go and be reunited with all of my past lovers, I may as well go and see them in style. Goodbye. 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 Fatal error. System failing. Deleting all files. All files deleted. Shutting down. Oh, I'm not feeling so hot, which is weird because I do look amazing. So at least I get to die pretty. I had so much more to do and so much more to give for the rest of the world. Okay. <gasps> Oh, oh God, I can see the light. Oh, mother, mother, I'm coming for you. I'm, I'm supposed to die, no? I can't believe, I believe, I believe it. I mean, tell, tell my sister I'm so not proud of her for winning the welly throw, but she still had the better welly. If this is how it ends, that destined to die, that knowledge to the grave, and so be it. My one wish, my one dying wish, is that then the manuscripts be saved, because knowing the past leads to a better future. Oh, 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 my, oh.
god, humans truly are terrifying. I didn't realize this until it was too late. Now I'm gonna die. I can't die. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Big dick right here. This is a pre recorded message. If you're seeing this, I am dead. This is to the Discord boys, the meme team, <laughs> Keith, and Kyle, and Ryan, and Brian. Game on. <laughs> and, um, kitten, if you're watching this, I will always cherish our private Discord server. It is so dark now. That is all. <laughs> you guys are idiots. You guys are complete idiots. You wasted my time today. I could have been doing something, something amazing, something really important. You wasted your time. We're dying right now because I mean, like, you know, <gasps> my hair is falling out. I'm not done. I don't want to know. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, are you really that surprised? I mean, I am always dressed to kill. But no, no one this gorgeous could ever have an ugly side. I mean, metaphorically, obviously. <laughs> but do you know how frustrating it was to have all eyes on me my whole life? but no one seeing what I am capable of. It just got so boring. Only being seen as beautiful. I wanted to be brilliant. And what says that more than being resurrected from the dead like the goddess that I am? So yes, I really was poisoned. <laughs> As the hospital will confirm, and after my heartfelt goodbye to my fans, no one should suspect anything. Then I will become the most followed influencer in the world. Oh, what saved me? The antidote was in my Kimber Lovely lip gloss. Think of that marketing. I mean, literally life-saving lip gloss. So not only am I gonna be the girl who cheated death and on her boyfriend in the same day, the money I'm gonna make from sales is gonna mean that I can finally stop having to suck up to my dick biscuit dad and blasted dick sugar daddies. Of course, it did mean I couldn't target anyone who might have had the lip gloss already. So was it a bonus that I got to off the only people who didn't find me effortlessly charming? Sure. But really, it was about getting a diverse enough group that it would guarantee worldwide news coverage after the sudden and simultaneous deaths. Kind of perfect though, because they were missing out while they were living by not following me, and now they're actually missing out on living. That's all from me, your beauty queen bee, the one and only Kimberly. My dear friends, this is why you don't trust random Zoom links sent by creepy strangers on the internet. I hope that will be a lesson well remembered by you all. Well, I am going to go. I need to gather a fresher crop for tomorrow's marketing meeting with Kimberly. Buy her Kimber Lovely lipstick or I will have to cut your pathetic little Kimber lives short. Mew ha ha h h a goodbye.